was the land of arunachal pradesh the north eastern state of rising sun for last few days we were moving in this region we were well equipped with photographic kit pair of open eyes and our fresh minds surrounding area was a beautiful piece of untouched forest i had never seen such a forest before for the first time in my life i realized the difference between the plantations and forest it was an unusual and exciting experience for me landlord of the jungle the tiger these landlords footprints were getting preserved here for weeks this was a holy land we realized the master key of this forest more you look more you see later on when my friends asked me about this trip What did you see there? I could not find a better answer than a popular slogan Pio to jano Serenity of this forest turned my mind inside out I started peeping inside my mind and found many questions Why did I come here? Where did I come from? Where am I going? After all who am I? back i had seen a slide show by my friend ashok captain it was on wildlife of arunachal i was really impressed by the beauty of this state and since then visiting this land was my dream our original plan was to start from pune on 24th of october 2003 on that day all the members of the team started by train towards guwahati It was a long journey of about 55 hours. Team was to travel for 3 days through Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, West Bengal and Assam. Murphy's law states that everything goes wrong if it can. And I am a strong believer of this law. For obvious reasons in the software field, I miss this date of 24th October. A lot of interesting work was waiting for me. in the office but still there was second opportunity to catch the rest of the team it was possible to catch them by flight at guwahati or tejpur so why did i complete my tasks in next 3 days additional cost for this was not much three full days of diwali in office with keyboard and mouse and additional 10k for air fare that seemed to be really a good deal after all the gain was nothing less than complete two weeks of stay with seven beautiful sisters this thought gave me a real boost i finished all my assignments finally i could reach guwahati by jet airways on 27th afternoon by then guwahati express also had completed its tiring journey with only 6 hours delay an indian railway is simply miraculous i felt compared to the size of its network 6 hours delay was simply nothing guwahati in assam is an important hub for eastern states it is similar to any other crowded city from rest of the india here we took an unscheduled visit to kamakya temple
This temple is situated in Nilachal Hill, about 8 km west of the city. Beautiful road took us to the temple up the hill. Entry to the temple was through the colorful market. This market was very much crowded. From sweets to decorative pieces, everything was on display. As a common scene, beggars and goats were seen around the entrance. I felt that these beggars and goats were totally helpless entities. They seemed to have the same fate. Worshippers were using goats for sacrifice and politicians were using beggars. There was a long queue for the entry into the temple. But workarounds always exist. Cash Dakshina to the Pandit made a miracle and we were inside the temple. This temple is a center for Shakti worship and Tantric Hinduism. Because worshippers believe that when Shiva sorrowfully carried away the corpse of Shakti, her body disintegrated and her yoni or the part of female genitalia failed there. According to Lonely Planet publication, this temple was rebuilt in 1665 after being destroyed by Muslim invaders. But the origins are much older. We happen to see the real practice of sacrifice inside the temple. But believe me, it was so difficult to witness it that even my best camera could not open its powerful eye. Later on I took close look to the Balivedi. This experience was horrifying. Just for the moment, I imagined my neck inside it and I saw real God in it. I understood the real value of life for the first time. We performed puja in the temple and came out. After witnessing this Shivalila of life and death. Even though our journey started from Pune, our real pilgrimage to Arunachal started at Vivekananda Center in Tejpur. Throughout this journey, Vivekananda Kendra's blessings were with us. These eastern states are very much related to VK or Vivekananda Kendra through its strong network of relations. We caught hold of its one strong thread through Alka Gauri or better known as Alka Didi. She is one of many full-time volunteers from Pune. In this northeastern state, challenges faced are of totally different nature. Here development cannot be done by simply providing all the facilities in one go. Such experiments have already failed in past. So called quick development has always given bitter fruits like pollution, poverty, crime, mass migration and many others. Arunachal is a living fossil of Indian culture and we need to protect it from all possible outside pressures. The development for these states simply means interlacing local culture, virgin nature and their future with the rest of the world but this should be done very carefully and without any damage. Vivekananda Kendra has handled this challenge successfully and deserves a lion's share. Vivekananda Center has roots throughout the state. Its work covers education, medicine, vocational centers and support in all difficult situations. We could visit their school and Arun Jyoti project at Sijosa. Vijay Bist from Kumau known as Vijaya Didi and Sri Thakur Das explained center's work. Arun Jyoti project aims at making local younger generation self-supporting. The weaving center at Sijosa can accommodate many girls from different villages for training camps. While talking to them I was surprised to know that these girls belong to nine different communities like Nokte, Wangchu, Lajo, Apatani, Datta, Nisi, Adi, Idu and Tagin. 
here these girls stay cook and work together we found their mutual bonding was very strong vijayadidi told that these girls inherit artistic tradition only what they need is a professional touch and some initial support you will be surprised to know that the lajo song at the start of this show was extempore composition of one of these girls to add to our surprise these girls with nine different dialects had composed a group dance This interaction with the girls at Sijosa got carved on my mind. After a week we visit our route towards Tawang Pass through different villages in plains and hills. What we visited was a very small part of western Arunachal Pradesh. Roads were through thick and green forest. Huge waterfalls keep on pouring water throughout the year. These roads are the lifelines for these remote areas on China border. In this area corn is a main crop. Most of the women work a lot throughout the day. The babies are always carried on the back. They seem to be very shy but friendly. Taking their pictures is really a challenge. In the mountain region yak is an important animal. These people get many things from yak like milk, wool, horns, skin and meat too. It is the most reliable and fail safe source for transportation. People of Arunachal talk to us with great enthusiasm. Some of the communities in this area hunt for their food. We talked to this man from missing community. He was carrying a long dao with him. These people can eat any animal including monkey, bull and mithun. India's main thread of unity in diversity was confirmed by this game of cricket. From sea shows in Kokan to altitudes about 10,000 feet, this game is popular. Throughout our journey, the climate was very much volatile. We had started in clear sky. Air was totally pollution free. Suddenly clear sky used to get filled with thick clouds. Sometimes it gave showers too. But this nature's painting on the huge real canvas was simply amazing. Sometimes road was covered with foggy strokes. This seemed to be a great performance by nature in well-equipped theatre. Once the show was over, again the lights were switched on. Roads became slippery and difficult for driving. Both the sides were covered with bamboo, wild varieties of banana, kewda, and many other varieties of plants. Rows of mountains were covered with thick forest. 